Hey guys, I'm Leah. Let's learn how to do something in 10 minutes or less. I'm gonna show you today how to glaze this leg. So, I am using this product. This is Dixie Belle's Black Glaze, and I mixed it 50-50 with Anchor, the silk, uh, silk mineral paint and Anchor. Now, this leg right here is painted in silk mineral paint and conch. And silk mineral paint from Dixie Belle already has a built-in top coat. So if you're using a, a, a chalk paint, you're gonna wanna go ahead and create and put a clear coat over your chalk paint to create a barrier between your glaze and your chalk paint. But this already has a built-in top coat, so it works perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my a sponge. I just buy uh, car wash sponges at Walmart and I chop them up in little pieces. And I use them for a lot of different things in my shop, mainly glazing though. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my glaze mix over this leg. My goal is to get it to fall in all of the creases, kind of like you can see this one back here. It is applied on, you can see it's kinda, it's just kinda not too heavy, but enough for it to fall in the cracks. Now I'm gonna take a wipe. Now it's important to find a good wipe that you like the moisture level on. I really like to use these. These are called uh, crocodile wipes. I pick them up at Menards, um, but anything will work. I have always used baby wipes too. The baby wipes are a little bit wetter um, and the crocodile wipes just seem like they have the per perfect moisture consistency. You can also just wet a paper towel. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this off. And I'm gonna wipe it till it's clean, but I'm gonna leave as much glaze in these crevices as I can. I like to grab a baby wipe, um, like when I'm cleaning around the bottom and whatnot, when I'm not really pulling glaze just so I don't have to pull another crocodile wipe out because they can get pricey. Okay, so this is pretty much it. It's done. It's glazed, it's pretty. You're gonna see the after picture and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that made such a difference. Uh, and it's super duper easy. The other thing is I don't have to seal it because like I said, the anchor has a built-in top coat. The silk mineral paint has a built-in top coat. So this mixed with the glaze, um, it, it you don't have to seal it. I like the, um, I do, however, I just wanna mention again, I do mix 50-50 the black glaze from Dixie Belle with the Anchor Silk Mineral Paint just because I want a deeper black look than the, uh, than the black glaze actually gives. So there is your quick 10 minute tutorial. I think we're done in actually under five, like three minutes, so that's awesome. So please, if you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe to the Leah Noel Design Co. YouTube channel. And I have so many quick tips coming for you and already available on this channel for you to view and just learn how to paint furniture super quick and get to painting. All right, guys, have an awesome one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.